What would you say is the one thing you can't forgive a person for? My father calling the police on me after his girlfriend moved in and he changed the locks while all my stuff was in the house still. My mom forgetting I had cancer and never once called me for 9 months during my treatment. She was never around anyways and would forget my birthday so I guess I should have expected it. Haven't talked to her in about a year. I don't need that toxicity in my life. Edit. Thank you for the silver. I just want to say thank you to everyone. It's amazing to see so many caring and loving people. Just so everyone knows I'm about 10 months cancer free. And I have to say even though it was an extremely terrifying and heartbreaking experience I'm glad I went through it. I'm a much stronger person with a more positive outlook on life. Or at least I try lol. My father cheated on my mom when she had stage 4 cancer. I was 23 at the time and ended up giving up my apartment and moving back home to take care of her. She had squamous cell carcinoma on her foot so they had to amputate most of her leg and she was in a lot of pain. One night I heard them arguing and he said well I can't get it from you so I'll have to get it somewhere else. He ended up spending most of his time at the house of some woman he met from the neighborhood. My brothers. Who never so much as visited our mom during the time she was sick. Tell me I'm overreacting and I should just get over it. So long as I'm drawing breath. I'll never forgive that son of a bitch for treating my mom that way. And I'll continue to be estranged from my brothers. 2. Breaking the trust you had in them even when you gave them a second chance. Not simply doing something bad once. But doing it on purpose. Enjoying it. And continuing to do it. Person can't be forgiven until they've stopped for good or honestly fight the urge to do it again. My wife's family taking my distress at losing my wife at 39 as weakness and trying to take advantage to get whatever they could. Nope can't forget that one. If they lie extensively and try to cover it up. Break your heart. And then lie to you again. But you have no way to prove it. You end things but always wonder if you've made a mistake. Shaming someone trying to better themselves. Whether it might be an overweight person in the gym or someone working a minimum wage job. Marrying a family member's rapist. Knowingly. Hurting anyone that can't defend themselves. When I was up head my best friend didn't want to believe me. Said it wasn't also her place to take sides. I tried so hard to keep the relationship functioning. But that trauma defined me for years. And she only ever acknowledged it with a sigh if that did happen. At her 21st birthday she invited him to the party. And didn't tell me until I was already there. I left immediately and never replied to a text or call from her again. It's been years. It's been 15 years since the incident and I don't think I'll ever forgive. My once best friend. For having sx with my autistic sister. Edit. For clarification my sister was born without oxygen. And received major brain damage due to it. She's 18 months older than me. But still stuck at the age of 2 mentally. She can't talk actual words outside of mama and baba. Is your sister low functioning? And didn't consent. Cause then she was raped. I'm sorry. Using a person's kindness for their own gain. A few years ago one of my ex's cousins died in a car crash. It took an extreme emotional toll on my ex and her entire family. My ex and her mother wound up on an extremely emotional late night phone call. For context they are Chinese. So I didn't understand any of the details of the conversation. As I'm lying in bed they finally hang up their phones. And for whatever reason my spidey sense goes off. I get up to go check on my ex in the living room to find her holding a knife and moving it toward her wrist. I had to wrestle the knife from her and put her in a hold while she thrashed and cried uncontrollably. Turns out her mother ended their conversation telling her that she wished she had aborted her. Since then they have both gone to therapy, individually, and have not only worked out their problems but have forged an even stronger relationship than either of them ever thought they could have. I'm proud of both of them. But what the mother did that night. Is one thing I can't and won't forgive her for. Killing my daughter. 
I had a hysterectomy at the ripe age of 32. And never had a chance to have children with my husband. My sister is an alcoholic and she gets very mean when she's drunk. She was upset with me one evening and she was leaving me message after message because I wouldn't pick up. I listened to one. I probably shouldn't have. She said you will never know what it's like to have children. You wouldn't have been a good mom. Pretty much saying I deserve it. She's 48 and knows better. But I don't think I can forgive her. She goes too far. But she's in rehab now for her 10th time. My first relationship was ended by a mutual friend who talked behind my back. She managed to convince my boyfriend that I was an asshole for studying instead of partying with him. I wanted to give us financial stability so he could pursue his art career. After we broke up. She tried to form a relationship with him. And failed miserably. I still talked to my ex. And we got our friendship back. What she destroyed. Though. Will never be the same. From as long as I can remember. She's the one person that I never managed to forgive. The father of my child cheated on me with my mum. They are now living together as a couple. I can never forgive them. Edit. You guys have floored me. None of my posts have ever got this much attention. Thanks for your kind words, and your funny jokes making me smile, and thanks so much for the gold. Yes I do have custody of my son. I work two jobs so he can thrive and it's a real struggle but I'm keeping it together. He still sees my mum and my ex once or twice a week. But as much as it kills me I can't cut them off from my son's life. If I remove a loving father from my two year old's life. That makes me the real deadbeat. Things may change though. The process I'm going through gets more and more bitter with each day and I simply can't look at them. Above all of this comes my child and I must hold it together for him. Well if you know me then it's not surprising. I can't forgive drunk driving. I moved to the United States around 5 years ago from Ireland. Two years after I did I was in the car with my family when we were hit by a drunk driver. In the crash everyone in my family thankfully wasn't hurt except me. Due to shrapnel as well as inhalation of toxic fumes. I now and covered in scars and can no longer speak at all other than small squeaks. Because one person decided to drive after drinking. It changed my life and the life of my family forever. Don't drink and drive people. Not just for your own safety. But everyone's safety. Edit. Thanks for the silver. I'm still new to Reddit so this is awesome. Thanks for the support. Edit 2. Wow gold. I didn't think my story was all that special. Thanks a ton. Taking advantage of someone's disability. Mental. Physical. Purposefully harming a child or animal. I can't forgive my now alienated spouse's family for all literally lining up to kick me when I was down. They never liked me. My husband at a low point had an affair and every member of his immediate family took that to mean it was now open season on me and each unleashed every verbal disgusting assault they could. All within weeks of my life having crumbled around me as I knew it. My husband worked his ass off in the years after to earn back my trust and respect. He was an incredibly damaged human from his upbringing in such a family. Therapy and more therapy. I lived years in agony out of love and respect for him. Trying to make it through the mire that my life had become. But I cannot bring myself to try to reconcile with people who literally saw me grasping for reasons to still live and decided to grind their heels into my fingers. They killed any chance of being in my life and the lives of my children for good. Having the courage to be vulnerable and then having it thrown in your face. Thank you kind stranger for the silver. My ex at the moment since finding out I had cancer has been harassing me and taking me to courts near enough every month and also has been telling people that I've only a few weeks left to live etc. I'm not terminal. And for that. I can never forgive him. Who does that to someone trying to recover and stay stressless? Child sx abuse. Edit. Holy crap. This blew up. Thanks for the gold. And anyone that knows about it and lets it continue to happen. Other than the obvious, committing a violent or s offense, close friends or family suddenly ghosting me. 
It's cruel to leave someone twisting in the wind. Sack up and tell me that you don't want to be a part of my life, for whatever reason, and then move on. My mom financially and emotionally cut off me and my sister when we were in our first and third years of college. Respectively. To chase a relationship and business endeavor with a woman she had just started a relationship with. She spent close to a million dollars that would have been left to me and my siblings. While systematically cutting out everyone who questioned her decisions. Ultimately she lost everything. And now crashes on my sister's couch between evictions. She's never really assumed responsibility. So we can't forgive her. To be clear. It's not the money I can't forgive her for. It's the fact that I saw her in a place where she thought she didn't need us and could afford to kick us to the curb to benefit herself personally. So she did so. How a person acts when they feel like they have everything can be just as revealing as how they act when their back is up against the wall. Terrorizing me emotionally by strongly implying that you are going to commit suicide. Because something that I did was an inconvenience to you. Then purposely avoiding my calls and messages when I desperately try to contact you. Then acting as though you never intended to worry me. But do it all again in a few months anyway. I have two ex-boyfriends who I will never forgive. They were both extremely emotionally abusive. This moth Fka Daniel. Asked me to bring my foil Cherizard Pokemon card to school to show it to him and I know he stole it out of my backpack later that day while we were at recess. I'll take this second grade grudge to the goddamn grave. Downright despicable and wholly unforgivable. Pedophilia. I've cut off my own family for this reason and I don't regret it. Humiliating me horrifically over the course of multiple years that led me to develop crippling mental health and acting like just because you were a teenager it means nothing. I would find it impossible to forgive myself after being cheated on. I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive my older brothers for telling me I was stupid for being raped. The texts kept coming through. What were you wearing? He probably assumed you wanted it. And I don't know why you wouldn't go to the police. How do I know you aren't lying about it happening in the first place? The older one's wife texted me a few days later telling me how disappointed she was that I didn't tell her I was raped. I thought we were sisters. Guess not. Colon. Taking any caring person for granted. Abuse and bullying. Child pornography. I wouldn't. One thing. Jesus. Start with all the variations on genocide and work your way down until you're comfortable forgiving somebody for something. If someone tried to kill me I'd be unable to forgive them. Emotionally abusing your child. Thanks mum and dad, for enabling. It really fcks up with your self worth. But also I guess not emotionally investing in those you're supposed to. My boyfriend killed himself. I had a woman tell me you are the reason he killed himself. Just saying. It was the just saying that threw me into a rage. My mother orchestrating the adoption of my child to my aunt. Haven't seen my son in 8 years. Before anyone asks. She ran a campaign of lies against me to all the family and threatened to have me bodily harmed should I defy her. I was baker acted with her signature and she kidnapped my son to take him to his new parents. Needless to say, I moved continents and am now working on building my self-confidence and independence. Being a pedophile. A rapist. Or an animal abuser. If it's a spouse or partner. Cheating. My mother hid my father's side of my family from me. Saying they wanted nothing to do with me and lied and said she's never spoken to them. I met them earlier this year and it was all a lie. My mum kicking me out when I confessed my stepdad was molesting me. When I was 13. Even though I want to forgive her and build a relationship. I can't. Especially as she is still with him. Saying. If you ever need help. Just let me know. I let people know I needed help. They never had the time. This comes from raising a special needs kid and desperately needing time to get errands done or maybe having someone else step in for one bath time so I could rest my back. 
when my son died I wouldn't let any of them offer me anything. No. I don't want your damn casseroles and no. I don't want you coming back to my house. Stay the hell away because it's what you did best while he was still alive and living at home. Theft it's not the first time they stole it's the first time you caught them. Armenian genocide. My ex beat me up. Not a slap but a full on punching. Kicking. Spitting. Bound me to the ground beat. I was able to make it to the front door. Swing it open and scream for help. No one helped. No one called 911. Everyone ignored me. I will never forgive those people who decided to ignore my screams and cries for help. We lived in a cul-de-sac and the neighbors were 5 feet away on either side. I'm still dealing with your problems 7 years later. I make sure to check out screaming and yells for help. Who knows if it's someone playing at the park or someone scared for their life. Someone peeing in an upside down frisbee. Freezing it. Then removing the frozen pee out of the frisbee and sliding it under your door for you to discover hours later. I don't care what people have done. It's not about the act or violation. It's about their reaction to their own mistake. Anyone can regain respect in my eyes. Using permanent marker on the whiteboard. Also. Putting empty ice trays in the freezer. Cheating. Rape. Betraying my trust and telling me to my face that they didn't care. Child molestation. I have had to cut many people from my life because I either found out they may have dabbled at one point in it. Or have forgiven people who have done it and trust them around their kids. Stealing my cheese. My brother's ex ate half of my block of $40 a pound sharp cheddar and I was livid. She was never forgiven. Cheating in a relationship. You do that. You're human garbage. No exceptions. Hurting the innocent who can't defend themselves. Children. Old and frail people. The disabled and yes. Animals. I wouldn't say this is the only thing you can't forgive a person for. But being married with a family and then leaving your spouse for their best friend. That's a relationship taboo in my opinion. Arping and molesting children. I will never forget the men who used me. Twisted me. Convinced me that that is what love. And respecting a person meant. It took me till I was 25 to really felt like I'd broken the cycle. And had claimed my life for myself. And not just as a shadow of what people have done to me. I will forever carry the ghost of the little girl I used to be. Who was murdered by people who wanted to eat her up. And left me in her place. I grew up hard. I grew up fast. And I will spend the rest of my days wishing I could personally meet out their punishments. If I ever go to jail. It will be for murdering a man who diddles kids. And I'll go to prison with a goddamn tea eating grin on my face. They deserve to be taken out back and shot like dogs. I was abused and I have never fck I never done that to anyone else. IT is an active choice to spread that pain. I will never accept any logic the excuses their behavior. Taking advantage of my kindness and lying to my face for months while keeping stupid pointless secrets. Making plans and inviting me. But expecting me to pay for everything. Spending the entirety of our friendship smiling in my face while talking shti behind my back. Three different scenarios. Three different shtty assholes. There are more. But these are the ones that hurt the worst. And therefore will never be forgiven. My ex stepdad abusing me starting at the age of 3. My brain is permanently changed because of him. I will never be able to enjoy life fully. And he still gets to walk this earth freely without a care in the world. I often daydream about things being different and watching him rot in jail. Or me stepping into his perfect world and completely ruining everything for him. Nothing. Forgiveness isn't about you and what you've done to me. Forgiveness is about me and letting go of what you've done so I can move on and heal. Grudges are bad for the heart. Forgiveness doesn't mean that I forget what you've done. It doesn't mean I'm okay with what you've done or can justify what you've done. When I forgive someone. 
It's because I've decided that it's better for me to let go of the anger and move on. Doesn't matter if you kill my so or my kid. I'm still going to forgive you because I can't move on and heal while I'm holding on to my anger. Anger and grudges are useless and harmful. They drag you down and hold you back. Well I lost a friend because during a shooting happening near my school, first shooting I ever experienced, he told me and my other friends he was sad that he was stuck at home because it probably would have been exiting to experience. Just a cool thing ick now. Anyways fck that guy. I was terrified.